Hello everyone, welcome to another beautiful exciting tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to make a fairy letter or hairy letter. This tutorial is going to be more related to the illustrator which I have made before. It's called uh, uh, illustrator hairy and funny character. Many people have asked me in comment that how they made uh, how I made the shape or how I made uh, the star and uh, how they get a round corner. And I can imagine that can be very difficult sometimes for, uh, especially for those who are working on Illustrator CS6. And if you are working in Illustrator CS6, you are missing some uh, nice options which you have in uh, CC, Adobe Illustrator CC. Okay, uh, without any further delay, let's uh, start to make our fairy letter uh, or hairy letter. And I will explain to you what uh, you should do if you have Illustrator CS6. And now, just we are going first to uh, prepare our gradient. Uh, just pick up here a round circle, which we don't want that. We are going to choose here a white um, and black. Change type to radial. Reserve it and press here, change the position here down to 70% so it will come immediately there, sorry this was extra uh, yes, after you change the position this will, uh, this one will uh, end up here just uh, double click on it and choose a brown color, the most darkest and this one just leave it like that ok, scale it down a little bit if you are using uh, Illustrator CS6 and you will not have that option, uh, just right click here again or just click it and you go to choose the star tool, double click somewhere here in the window, choose uh, 50 points or uh, corners, it makes it easier for us a little bit. And uh, in some cases in Adobe Illustrator CS6 it might um, not work with an effect or it, mi it might not make it uh, round the way you want. Okay, here in Adobe Illustrator CC you just can go here direct selection tool or you just can press A on a keyboard you immediately get um, the white arrow. Here I'm going to zoom in a little bit if you press here this little white circle we have here so you can sorry you can see that it's already selected with a little bit round corner down arrow which means that if you bring it down you will get the round corners and nicely but uh, if you are in illustrator c6 if you make a star this might not work for many spikes or points you know because let's try it, but uh, in any case you could just effect stylize and choose round corner see this is happening ok this might has to do with um, how you call it uh, the corner or the gradient anyway but if you have a, let's say another star which doesn't have so many spikes, let's say 10 all right let's uh, choose another color and you go to scale it down a little bit to make it easier for us right effect stylize uh, round corner see what can happen see this happening and which is also possible and it makes sense you know if you want to do the same steps but uh, you have to um, how called you have to turn the num the number of uh, points of the uh, corners or the rays whatever you call it down anyway that was just idea for CS6 let's delete this again because we, uh, since we are going only to work with this one again just I will zoom in a little bit uh, for you to make it more visible just click here or press A on a keyboard and hold on this little white circle and bring it a little bit down here we go all right now select it again it just uh, control C control F 
and in uh, Mac command C command F and the one we just made a copy from it you can always go here edit copy and uh, edit again paste in front anyway uh, let's uh, scale this down we have it uh, let's say if it is small enough all right and we will uh, scale this one also a little bit down not that much okay um, it's very important step here after we select both of them now we are going to object blend blend option here the more you choose the more fuller uh, fairy you got uh, you get in um, in your letter or in your character but I will choose 230 specified steps and spacing uh, don't forget to have it more than 220 because if you have less the moment you write or you make any shape which becomes very beautiful like a tail of animal I would say it, it is full of hair and that's what you we want hit ok again we are going to go uh, object blend make this we get this one and now we are going effect distort and transform pucker and blob and let's make this minus on keyboard minus 15 and hit ok computer gets a little bit slow after this uh, process and just zoom in all right this it should look like this at your computer as well and now we are going back effect distort transform this time we're gonna choose roughen uh, before we preview how it looks like we're gonna turn the detail to zero and size to 10 choose a smooth relative we preview it okay here we have it just hit okay so easy it is I'm gonna control zero to bring the whole window up okay and uh, we're gonna scale it down a little bit something like this and now remember for each letter for each shape different if you want to make you need one more uh, you need one more of this because you just cannot go and make uh, everything you want in uh, one shape because it's going to be a wide spaces in between and it will not look the way you want just copy pasting this you have to do it in keyboard is very easy just press alt you see double arrow and click click it away and release it since we are going to make two or three shapes let's make three just again alt click it away okay let's bring one here we are going to make a and before you start to make anything just right click on on your shape you made right click isolate selected group because this one only will make that shape to move to follow your path to follow the pen to follow the pen tool but in this case I'm going to choose um, a pencil tool uh, I will not choose the pen tool you can do that one as well but you can for me it's flexible and uh, relaxer uh, how you call it I mean it's uh, easier I will choose a pencil tool in this case you just hit and on keyboard immediately it comes up while we have only this selected so we're gonna make a watch what will happen let's see there we go look the shape is going away why because it's following your path and now if you you want to choose um, or to add another path that's no problem is going to do that as well let's complete our uh, letter A okay this now we are finished from A I'm going to hit V on a keyboard or just go here select it and here uh, go up somewhere in uh, out of uh, that your window to and isolate it here we are finished from A that's one 
now we are going to make B here again select your shape right click isolate selected group again press N or just go here choose a pencil look what will happen for B sometimes it, it goes up and down and uh, but that's not what we want so you have to start in a different uh, dimension of direction let's see what will happen this is better and now we need one more of this to complete our letter yes that's we have B and you can just go here select it and select this point and bring it up that's no problem it will follow it there we go we are finished from A again press here to unisolate it we bring our B a little bit more to this side and we make some room for this one and this one you can make number from it you can make any beautiful shape you want on your own fantasy just right click again isolate I'm going to make some a shape which I am satisfied and I find it beautiful I think okay make something like this let's see what will happen it's not bad but I want uh, that um, little uh, small tail to come inside of our to be inside of our circle okay so let's start again uh, here I think something like this also fine but I will go control Z again to undo it but I will just go to choose uh, this way again okay if you want to make a number four from it that's also possible look as I told you before um, here we are getting more space in between this because the reason the more we write the more we make path the more space it gets in between why because here in blend option we have less steps but I did it is only for you to learn also uh, because uh, the computer will slow down and if you have a faster computer of course you can make it like around 300 200 so the way the more you write the more no problem it will be anyway but I'm going to click uh, to control Z to undo it just uh, that was an idea and if you you can also make a music shape let's see what will what will that one will look like ah, it's a little bit weird anyway but that was it okay something like this should be okay that was just an idea and um, okay then I'm going to delete this gradient we don't need it anymore uh, we will add uh, how you call it the background I'm going to choose the this color orange one I really like it because it's really it matches together very well here we go and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you like my channel and if you like the videos of course you're free to subscribe and I will be very happy as well and uh, just don't forget to subscribe for more videos because there will be more uh, exciting tutorials which uh, uh, we haven't made it actually yet and that will be there as well so you, you don't want to miss that and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and sometime just I see some people are making their own 
shapes by following tutorial and I shared in a comment you can do that as well you can share your uh, inspiration in a comment I will be very happy to see it as well and your friends as well and have a nice day and I wish you a very good 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 time with this tutorial thank you for watching bye bye